I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, Where's the furnace? My mom never wanted me to go down there, but I love that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never, Never enough. enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Thanks. Basement. All right, so we're going to the basement. Oops. Let's go. Second floor, down. Going down this way. Ballroom. How do I get to the basement, though? Staff storage. How does one get to the basement? Shit. Definitely not this way. Okay. Maybe this way? Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost. Wait, uh. what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Fucking weird farting ass kiss. The furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. Ooh, this is a nice little area. What area is this? How the fuck do I get to the basement, dude? Okay. Damn, I keep hitting the wrong button. If I was a basement, where would I be? Probably this way. Boiler room. Okay, I guess not down here. Danger, boiler room. Workbench. Is this a basement? Oh, hell yeah. Found it. What the fuck? Furnace! Push. How's it going? It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess? I think so. What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like... 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of... oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Green button. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! 
Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Fucking weirdo. Push. Oh, it does kind of sound like a car. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. For sure. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Nice. Who is this guy again? Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but didn't touch he thing. didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? We teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. The room does look like some There's room for a 16 year old. Hotel. No, I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. So, 16, 10 years ago, she's 26 now. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey. Listen, I just wanted to say... Why does he act all surprised when I came call? across as obnoxious? No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I, From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, in all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally, totally unplugged. unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life then. Wow. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. 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 So who the fuck is this guy, man? Let's take a shower, dog. How do I take a shower? I'm dead tired. I'll sleep in my old room in the master suite. She's not gonna shower? Dirty ass bitch. Okay. Day two. <sighs> Overlook. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? <sighs> Like a rock. I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. <sighs> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Are you snoozing? Irving, Nicole, stranded up here. You snoozing? After a night of incomplete crossword puzzles, I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at, at all? all? I thought you might need something and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? It's weird. I'm a workaholic. Okay. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon. Probably tonight. 
Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? Better off thinking about primary needs. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. I have to survive. Yeah, I need to get something in my stomach or I won't make it out of here alive. You'll be forever grateful for baked beans. Right, where the fuck's the kitchen at, dude? Kitchen area. Kitchen. By the offices. Where are the offices? Oh, offices are... Offices this way. Oh, wait, I'm in the dining room. Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? Sure, I'd just man, like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right. definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. More concerned about the bacterial world. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. Pantry. What do we got here? We got, uh, moldy food. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. For a box of freezer, bro. Who's this? Oh, shit. Here we go. Woo. It's cold, bro. Ah, right, here we go. Some soup. Alright. Fuck? Hey. You kidding? Oh, hell no. Fuck. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah, I could have died in there. Jesus, man. Super weird game. Dish. Ugh. It's disgusting. Come on, man. It's actually in there for two minutes. Shit. Hell yeah. <sighs> Hello? Uh-huh? Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. When is he getting About here? About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. 
this is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah, uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely, it's surely you're the most, most damaged. damaged. Okay. Please, only call me if you've got good news. All right, second floor. Second floor. Well, I know there's mold. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. Why is there a sealed door, bro? Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Damn. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something, mean to, something you? to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? You always have an answer to everything. Fuck? What do you mean? I've joked about it, but it's not funny anymore. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food, and that the fridge door is busted. The fuck is you calling? know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. What the hell? Hello? What's up? Yeah. Hello? Who is this? I don't understand. What? What did you say? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Fuck you. What? You think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! The fuck? Oh, hell no, dude! Serious? Alright, let me continue this inspection. Let's see what we got here. Serious mold right there. We already did this side. Well, that was super weird. Am I still inspecting second floor? Hello? You pissed at me? I'm not 10 years old. I've got a different problem. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? How the fuck am I supposed to know who? Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? Well, your word gets around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't I mean, sell the hotel. They didn't say she's hotel. alive. They just said she's still here. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. Can you do that? I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? What does that mean, like bro? Tea leaves in a cup. That's creepy. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Stain. Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the 
genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, okay, the what the hell is happening here, Foster, dude? Known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked. Every one of them. Fucked. I know what we went through. Fucked. No one else. Fuck them. Woo! Yeah, you tell them, girl. Hell yeah. Stain. Oh, shit. Day three. Okay. What if this is going to be like a game like Blair Witch, where you gradually just play the game, find clues, but then at the result, you end up going crazy? I wonder if it's going to be that type of game. Look at that. She's not even making the bed anymore, dude. Look how dirty Thank that pillow is. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. See, I told you, bro. She's going crazy. I haven't slept like that for ages. Were there sleeping pills in the beans? I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. Did I? I think I had a dream. About? My dad. Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Why does that surprise me? Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Why do these lights work, though? Where's the hitch? Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. Hey, All no. right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if you left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Any Press news? Two to I found a Polaroid. Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. Oh, hell no, dude. I wonder who this belonged to. Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge. So, what's the main character's name? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Oh, look at that! I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. Oh, hell no! You serious? Oh, shit. Alright, so where am I going right now? Irving said I must enter the crawl space in the first floor staff area. Where the fuck is the staff area? Is this a joke? Oh, fuck no. Oh shit, dude. So is this game considered horror? Cause what's happening right now, dude? 
I'm not gonna play around with this fucking pop-ups in this bitch, dude. Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. I forgot that. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when oh, I get to the shit. closet? You'll have to go down to oh, the breaker fuck. box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Where the fuck is the crawl space, dude? Holy shit. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Irving said I must enter the crawl space. Okay, so I'm in the staff area for sure. Holy shit. Okay, let's go down here. What the fuck, man? Oh shit, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Am I in the right area? This is a staff area, right? Staff quarters, yeah. What the fuck? Crawl's placed. Oh, shit, right here. Flashlight. Pick up. Found it. I found the crawl space. And also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? I don't remember it was so narrow. I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, idiot. Yeah, you idiot. What the fuck? Alright, man, I'm not liking where this game's going, dude. This shit's weird, bro. Shit. What's wrong? I'm in the dark. I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay, easy does it. All you need to do is follow what them the and you'll get to the man. generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise, fuck who is knows that? where you'll end up. Perfect. Hey, what's I got up? A flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right. Yep. Yeah. Easy. Does it? Yeah, fuck this shit. What the fuck? 
What was that? Nothing? Alright. Use. This game is fucking weird, man. Fucking weird. I feel like there's an easy way to get here. Look at this. What the fuck was this door right here? Could have could have gone through here. Do I look like a fucking electrician? What the fuck? Was that here before? Dude, this game's a trip, dude. A level. Lipstick. Observe. Red doll. Uh, what's up? Uh... Hi, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, I know all what words. Ahead. What are you talking about? How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. <laughs> so what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? Your fucking found something. lipstick, dog. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. A lipstick here? Can you explain that? Doesn't that seem weird? It's... a... lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I, I don't know the words of this game. What are you talking about? The girls at school used it. I'm just talking shit. Yeah. It just happens to be right. right. Like it's just, it didn't dry out. I'm just a genius. That's all it I is. I could even use it now. I'm it's wicked perfect. smart. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been... I, I don't know. Nine or ten years. Nine or ten years, Strange huh? someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Yeah, that's what I want to fucking do, man. Stupid ass. Are you crazy? Fuck you. Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Down by- uh, down here? I... Or someone just well, forget lipstick? Who forgets lipstick? Yeah. I never forget my right. lipstick. Take my shit everywhere. Fuck. Day four. Okay. Can't tell where this game is going, man. Ah. Oh. What the hell's happening? I feel like she's going low key a little bit fucking crazy right now. Look at this shit, man. Is she really dead? So that's who her father had an affair with. I mean, she's kind of fine though. Boarding is ordered, sir. I mean, she's, you awake? She's kind of cute. I did it. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, oh yeah, she's okay. going straight senile right now, bro. She's going crazy. Look at all this shit, man. Pastor Foster. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I thought we'd been through that. So Rachel's Let route. So this is where the hotel is. I spent the night the going through his walking, stuff, bro? and I want to know what you think. Who walks this far? About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do, about what went on here since I left, at least. What do you mean? You went through his stuff. What are you looking for? Someone calls know, me going crazy, and dog. says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. I feel like I'm being Rachel watched, dude. Rachel is dead. I want to shed light. I don't know what to think. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second Ugh, pass. Oh, she just leaving her dirty ass socks on there the floor. Are too for. many gray areas. This bitch is nasty, Look, dude. The storm is dirty dying ass down. Bitch. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. Fuck you, man. I'm a Sherlock's home fan, bitch. Look at it this way. I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one gotcha, thing dog. Leonard taught me, it's that you gotta listen to what's buzzing in your head. 
First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right. Let's go hunt some bees, then. Some bees, this then. fucking guy. The fuck? Now, let's do the book. I'm curious about the book. Look at this. Can't see your smile, honey. Today I saw Rachel. There's light everywhere. Rachel doesn't want to do her speech therapy exercises. I heard you, Rachel. You were right behind me. Rachel is sad. Rachel says she feels alone. Love you, Rachel. Alright. Pastor Foster. Let's see what this is you know, about. I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend That's kind of weird. He was a very strict man. Harsh. So how old was this Even bitch? Because her, her how old was she? Does it say her he age and anywhere? Spent hours debating the Five, nature three. of reality, the universe, and God. Well, so she was short. Often attract. Do you ever see him? A twenty-nine-year-old really? girl. Okay, he so she was twenty-nine. No, 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 no. That's Ferguson. I don't like priests. Priests always made me nervous. I Them saw Rachel in the Timberline Hotel. His daughter's death. Oh hell no, ego. dude. If His this bitch comes popping out of me, bro, I will fight. Than he already I will start swinging on her, man. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding like, total she pop out on me, dude, from Rachel. You know what? I'm just going to do this, man. Insane. Fuck this. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Fuck this shit, no, man. I'm no, covering all bases, dude. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just so, saying. Uh, right. All right. Observe the lipstick. It's not even used, man. That's a nice color, though. That's a very nice color. Pastor Foster. It's like a crazy ass old man. All right, desk clues. Oops. Report. Let's report the um. Let's do the book. Let's see what she has hey, to say about the book. I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? I'm not supposed to know. I wasn't there. Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today, Today I, saw I saw Rachel. Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or Rachel says she feels alone. This game is getting creepy, man. About her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel? Oh, hell no. As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Oh, fuck that, dude. I'm telling you, this bitch was popping out of me, bro. Alright, what are these clues right here? What is this? Observe. 29 year old girl from Great Falls claims she saw Rachel Foster, her schoolmate, suicidal. Her schoolmate, suicidal in 1981, in a corridor at the first floor of the Timberland Hotel, but she ran away without saying. without saying nothing. Without saying anything. Glenda revealed to the Daily Reporters that she tried to approach her, but she went away. She added, I don't know how it's how it's possible, but it was definitely Rachel. This is just the last episode of the most fe most famous love and death story in this in the county. Rachel committed suicide after her affair with Leonard McGath, 30 years older than the teenager. Oh, shit. That's gross. It was exposed to the public. We tried to speak with Rachel's father, Shepard Foster, but he refused. Someone says the young girl is still alive. Creepy. Keep follow. Keep following our monthly update to find out more of the story and more. So she was a teenager at the time that she fucked this dude. Shocked the entire building. The principal told us today it felt like a huge weight. The principal? Hell in a high school? This dude fucked a high school student? Ah, oh, I take back what I said about her being attractive, man. That's creepy. Just... <laughs> Disregard all that. I didn't say nothing. Friend's story, newspaper. Friend's story. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was MT Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Ah, uh, maybe you're right. She couldn't have been wrong. But she was a classmate. 
She couldn't have been wrong. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright, alright, alright. Back. Here we go. Wall clues. I gotta report all this shit. Newspaper clippings. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll hear you out. Where does she see the clippings? Okay, right there. Okay. Whoa. And then we have... Last one. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. Body of Rachel, daughter passed she was nine weeks found pregnant. yesterday, late in the fall. When uh, yeah, the investigators that was the official confirmed version. she jumped from a 90 foot ridge on the mountain lake. How old was she, though, man? Rachel was kind and truly good girl. This is getting weird. Lipstick. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Do they? Maybe there's been other women. I mean... No way. From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um... Could the cold have preserved it? Possibly. Anything else? Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Fuck yeah, man! Until I know exactly what happened. Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But sometimes this is super it's weird, to leave man. the skeletons in the closet. So her dad yeah, fucked a high school student. Out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard headed like your father. When was this story written? Trust me. At least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Okay. What the fuck? Alright, day five. Is she really dead? Oh. Shit, man, I don't know! Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? She's a community. Alright, um, let's find out. Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. What the fuck? You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. What? We can't help but follow certain stars. Why the hell are you walking so slow? Even if those stars what are you have doing? died millions of years ago. Why is this shit so bright? I miss you so much. Is it really you? Are you real? Is it you? For real? The fuck? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. 
I don't understand. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. So her dad fucked it's a teenager, important. and then they got caught. I can't so see you. So then the teenager you. killed herself. Where are you? Where are you? So I get that part. You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 So... Okay. I don't understand what's happening in this fucking game, dude. Morning. Am I interrupting? No, you're I good. Was what's up, bitch? Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Very sharp. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. Okay. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Shouldn't have, <laughs> well, so but... what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, you get okay. a joke. It, it's, um, <laughs> fly it out of it, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me. Jesus, that... you can be really long winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like, uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters. Did they hear about the old farting ghost? <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and okay. they stopped by the timber line too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of, well... Just fucking play it, yourself. dude. Jesus, stop trying to protect me from shit, man. It's annoying. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones are better. German ones are better. <clears throat> okay. We are about to enter a nightmare hotel. Ooh. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, Yo, dead ass, man. Like, if, if this bitch bad. pops out on me, bro. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. Seven. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn, stuck a piece of tape. So that's that room one, with the tape on it. One seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare. Leonard, Claire, and Nicole, Dad, I and told me. You no so her name's Nicole. Okay, the other what one's name is Rachel. I, I forgot anything. what her name was. It's Nicole. Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. What the fuck? It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear Dad, I... Dad, stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch oh, me. Oh, hell no, things? bro. I gotta go. I gotta go. That's it? Yep. The tape's damaged. Too damp. Oh, nah, I'd bro. Say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end? What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. Oh, it's, uh... 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Okay, this sounds like a terrible fucking idea.
Ghost Hunters Mission Room 117. I want to check it out. But where is it? Hell no, dude. Holy shit. Room 117. 117. Hey. I found the room. But? For someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. It seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Okay, so I gotta go grab a screwdriver. Oh, shit. Something's gonna happen, bro. This bitch gonna pop out of me, bro. I'm telling you. Like, I'm not playing this shit, dude. Like, don't fuck with me right now, Rachel. I will literally sock you in the throat, bitch. Oh my god. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No, no. bitch. Ghost hunters seem scared. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. Why? I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe oh, in ghosts hell or no, some dude. bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck then you also have to believe that something else is good luck huh what are you talking about prayer for example father foster wouldn't agree you're saying prayer brings good luck i doubt reverend foster would agree a screwdriver i'm out of here Screwdriver, okay. Dude, I'm telling you, something's gonna fucking happen, bro. Something's gonna happen. Fuck all these open doors and shit, dude. This game is not fun. Alright, now it goes all quiet. Indigenous snowshoes distribute... Fuck no. Hell no. Y'all hear that shit? Oh shit.
Fuck this, man. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Microphone. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is she taking the microphone? I'm not going ghost hunting, dude. There's no way. And this room has three beds? Jesus. Four beds? Wow. That's impressive. It's a pretty nice hotel. Dude, I'm not going ghost hunting, dude. They really did hightail it out of here. Look at that. They left the suitcases and everything. What is this? Empty. Video recorder. Oh, Jesus Christ. Have you calmed down yet? Quit playing dumbass jokes. What does that guy do all day? Who, you mean the owner? Leonard the Freak? Uh-huh. I don't know. He's always locked up in the attic. You can hear him pacing up and down. Well, better for us. We've got the whole hotel to do whatever we want. <laughs> Shut up a sec. There's that noise again in the headphones. Sounds like someone is talking... I see you smoking the good stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, sure. Did you see his face? He's missing a couple screws. <laughs> it sounds like a woman's voice. A girl. What the? I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, he can't help but go nuts. <laughs> so depressing. Danny, did you get rid of the interference? Fuck, I paid you to do your job, not Ooh. jerk around. Fuck off, Stan. Shit is no joke, dog. It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. Listen, Danny, cut the crap. I'm gonna go... Hell no, no bro. I'll figure it out by the time I'm done. Ah! What the fuck are you doing? I saw something! Well, you're not taking it. No, I mean, for real! What? Uh, what the... No one's here, I'm telling you! Oh. What do you guys say? Looks more like a... Like a... a oh, my... What the fuck? Oh, hell no! Fuck this, dude. Fuck no. Hey! 
stay, Curving. Jesus oh, Christ. Uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry. I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Day seven. Dude. I don't know where this game's going right now, bro. Why is there a Christmas tree now? Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! What the I promise not fuck? to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. Thanks. So this is all cleared up now. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. We've never met. We've never met, Irving. I can't even picture your face. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To... Be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> Maybe I'm sharpening my knives. What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, Everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. <laughs> I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Alright, dude, don't get all sensitive. Are you hitting on Irving? me, bro? Are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you... I mean, it's just... I... Relax. I was kidding. I can never tell when you're kidding. What is going on? Yeah, it's one of my. I don't like how there's like a romantic emotions. story happening because I know Same. shit's about to get fucked up. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Achievement huh? unlocked, cutie pie. Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Here I am. To be honest, I, like I never thought I'd spend good night, Christmas hon like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. All right, dude, shut up so I can That's explore. That's what there was. In the end, there was like a strange kind of warmth. Was there? Then it all ended. Christmas of eighty. Shut up. Me and my mom were. Of eighty? God damn! What year does this take place? Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater... After 10 he, years. And she was... She was 29 years old. So 10 years old, she was 19. How was she a classmate? So she was 19? Uh, hey. She was in high school, right? And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was uh -oh, carrying, they, too. They drop the music now, bro. Be like that. Oh, They're hell no. These are my memories, and, uh... Did you hear that? Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Oh shit. Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. I want to check. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Oh, so this goes to... Oh, so this goes back to here. Okay. What the hell? What is that, a boob? Okay, that's not creepy at all. Okay, yeah, this isn't creepy. So this is going back down to the basement. What the fuck? Somebody walking up there? Okay, I have no idea. I was thinking about earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Okay. Uh huh. I, I just I, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. Uh, God, I hear myself talk. Did you just like call me Nikki? Let's put this conversation on hold. That's really sweet, but maybe we should put this conversation on hold. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. I said we'll talk later. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later. What the fuck? Where's it coming from? Not coming from here. Okay, let's go from up here. No, now it's getting faint. Irving, you hear me? Holy shit. For fuck's sake. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I what was the uh, hell? busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What'd you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. 
Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, what just let me know. What the fuck? How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole... Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Ugh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. What the hell? Maybe the... It's not this way. Oh, it's down this way. Holy crap. What the fuck? Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Dude, you call me a liar? Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second, it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party okay. on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard, and he wouldn't stop staring at wouldn't that. Stop staring at that girl. It's so creepy, Rachel. She talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on the back. She was so beautiful, perfect. Fuck! It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Okay? Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Okay. Day eight. She's been locked in this place for eight days, bro. This is insane. Am I in a fucking church? I'm in a church. Holy bejesus. Oh. 
Well, how did I get in the church? That way. I don't know which way to go. What is going on here? What the fuck is that noise? So I can't go that way. that then the game I have no objectives I'm not liking this, bro. Fuck this, dude. This is trippy, man. Like the only reason this game is kind of scary is because you expect something to pop out of you. Like, I'm expecting it. But nothing's happening. And I don't know, I don't know where to go. I don't have my map. I have nothing. Why was I in a church? What is that? that is. I don't care what that is. I'm not going to go down there. Fuck 
Fuck it, let's see what's upstairs. Go this way. Museum. Nothing. What the fuck, man? Where did that come from? Am I like dreaming right now or what? This will be the same one. Bab. Problem with electronics heating. Stink and worse in the walls. Rats, enough is enough. Candles and shit everywhere. Okay. Nothing up here. They literally give me no direction here. They've been giving me direction all game, and all of a sudden they're not. Museum. Okay. It's kind of a shitty museum. No. Dude, what the fuck? Literally, there's something running around, dude. Fuck with me? Hello?
Dude, there's literally somebody running up here. Show yourself. What the hell? Cancelled. Dead ass, bro? The fuck was that? Oh, hell no, dude. Okay. There's nothing in here. Where did that light go? Dude, am I tripping right now? Hold on. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I gotta play my guy. Ew. You won't feel the way I'm feeling now. Alright, back to this.
Alright, so where the fuck am I supposed to go? Clearly not in here. Hi, I left you the dino flashlight. You'll have to work a little to make some light. Ha ha. Who's up here? Where does this go? What the fuck? Seriously? Hi, this is getting out of hand now. I've gone everywhere in this fucking hotel. Gone everywhere. Keep hearing noises, but there's nothing around here. She was just talking about the ballroom. Maybe I should try the ballroom. Nothing. Whoa, they actually have alcohol. Look at that. Jägermeister. That's hilarious. This is Don Julio. Wonder why they were allowed to do Jäger Jägermeister and not anything else. I can't even take the microphone out to see where I'm supposed to go. This is super weird. I'm kind of annoying. Mm. 
room is this? Pig. Okay, so someone fucked up the bathroom. He deserved that. shoot this is a new area Okay, and that's that room. Where does this go? Back to the church? Okay, why is there a church here, though? Nothing that way. Where's that water sound coming from? Dude, I don't fucking know, man. Not do anything to get you back to sleep. 
Her face will be the same one. Tell you have a boy. Dude, I have no idea. Game room. Nothing in here. Day I watched you. Where's this go? Oh, this goes back to the kitchen. Okay, now I feel like I've honestly looked everywhere. Did I watch you? I went over to that one room and that light flashed, but then there's nothing else. Nothing back in my apartment. What is this, Overlook? Yeah, this is the Overlook. Nothing. Look at that set of glad it's glad. Corny flakes. Oh, what the hell? Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. 
What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! What do you think, man? Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Yeah, what's that Sometimes reason? Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Fuck, call me Nikki, bitch. I have to go back to the church. Don't want really don't want really, but my sleepwalking must be a sign. Alright, so I'm going back to the church now. So I just need to grab all my shit. I see. I see. I see. It's freaking out about nothing, man. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Do I remember how to get to the church? Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. You don't think I'm crazy then? So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, Fuck this and shit. put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities, you know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm... No. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. Okay, I don't understand this. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Okay, so I got this here. Nikki? When there Let's was say a party, 85, my what? mother always got out oh, the usual what? streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church. So likewise, you expect I never discovered you where she kept by the all tongue, those things. Speech. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. Okay. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> a judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. What the Ooh, fuck? Sounds good. 
The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Oh, God. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Down. Oh, something like... Down the stairs. Down the stairs watch, watch your step. step. Don't, don't fall, fall apart, apart or, or it's, it's your end. end. Round a corner, corner, turn around. around. There's, There's your, way. your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How it's... I... I... Wow. A total mystery. Want to play? Uh, I... What the yes, hell? Yes, I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. If I solve the riddle, I can finally find the old storage room. Down the stairs, watch your step. If you fall... Down the stairs, watch your step. If you fall, it'll be your end. Turn around. No. Down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or hit your head. Round the corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open too, if you see beyond its looks. was a flashlight. Someone was here. Retard. Rachel's book. Teach me to talk this Speech therapy manual. Oh shit. So, found the mystery decorations? Uh, no, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I. It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Or what is there? going on? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what oh, you Oh my see. god, what is going on okay. right now? I... Uh, there's some windows drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. No one would live down here. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. Wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room. A, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. What? I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Did you get out of there? No, oh, dude. You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. 
She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't... Let me go on. Breadcrumb. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. Oh, hell no. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to... This game's going to have some weird-ass twists, man. I have a feeling. Someone could have been in your room. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Colored walls. Get out of there. No. No way. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a. a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this. Why? We why can't you just leave? Out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just. Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. I agree with him. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel and his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. True. You know that too. You're joking. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... I mean, what he's saying is true, sister. Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but fucking so hell, 16? don't you dare even think that. Oh. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Damn. I'm going to open it, open it, open it. Open it, open it, open it, open it. She's going crazy, bro, I'm telling you. That's what happens with people up here. They just go psych they just go fucking psycho. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some that's people freaky. think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. Concentrate, trying to call. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, 
the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then the lipstick from 10 years ago turns up, still good. And then my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. Okay. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. Facts. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? She's starting to call him Dad again, though. I've realized that. She wasn't calling him Dad before. I think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Okay, this is weird, man. Wasn't in there, was it? It's in the office. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out what we got. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Okay. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted, Mom to, talk never wanted about to talk about it. Are you trying to, Dad? Are you trying to, Daddy? Okay. I don't fully understand the concept of this game right now. Irving. Finally. I know, I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. I'm not going to apologize. Let's keep going, if you want. Together. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Father. Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. It... What the it fuck? It insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. 
But what was going on in the meantime? It's a good question. You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. Mm -hmm. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Okay, so I'm taking a look where? I take I'd better take a look in the mezzanine in the middle in the middle. The better things find their proper position. Okay. Mezzanine. This is that, right? Where's the mezzanine? The fuck? The fuck was that? Whatever. Alright, so I have the ballroom right there. That's right next to me. Yeah, so where I am is... Right here? The fuck? That's not weird at all. Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed but why my hockey stick hello hello oh god why isn't he answering Irving I swear I'm not kidding this is a huge deal if you can hear me it's time to make that phone call What the fuck? Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Why didn't you answer me? Why didn't you answer? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? I don't understand. What? Are you... Are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? What?
Oh, fuck no. The hell? This is where homeboy has been, bro. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What the fuck? What does all this mean? That's the question I've asked myself many times. What? What does all this mean? Irving, you sly dog, you! How far do you want to push it? You sly dog, you! How much can you take? What? Every memory, painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, free little element retrieved from dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What? What did you do? What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. Oh shit! The memories shit. into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. What? Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. I don't understand at all. Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. What?! I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Who are you? Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. Okay. His father. Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. This is Rachel's brother. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there's shown only one star. Yep, this is her brother. His wonderful sister. Ah! A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. Yep, she I knew it, man. What a free I knew it was going to be a weird-ass twist in this stupid-ass game. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry. At night. I wanted to protect her. 
but I couldn't. Okay. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her. For real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. Hmm? What? She was 16, bro! A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? You? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Damn. I didn't hate Rachel. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. Okay. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Wow, that's sad, bro. What do you want? What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that... Confined horizon of Call. events. May. As you'll understand. As you've already begun Uni to Pacific understand. Pacific University of Oregon. Tell me what you want from me. You're the stranger you said I should keep away from. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go. What? You will be the new witness. Damn. You owe it to us. How about that, bro? And you owe it to her. You son of a bitch. You <sighs> mother. God damn it. Alright, see what this fucking. What the hell? God. Ooh, it's a nice little area. What is this, a love nest? A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. Okay. I think you were in elementary school. The fuck is this shit? I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious. So this is her dad. Okay. I prefer asking you how you are. So this creepy motherfucker slept with a 16-year-old. You, You're probably telling. So that's how he knew to call me Nikki. This guy washed my tape. At this point of your it's all covered together school, now. This old okay. Will have already whispered all okay. Your secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. That's why he gave me the this puzzle. You son of a bitch. Mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from the Oh, okay, that's why he calls himself so Irving. We waited. We were terrified. Oh, no, hey, this is Irving. We studied, we listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels. What? Those wide open eyes. Those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter. What Trust is me, going on? It doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Yeah, what's that, bitch? Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand There's no shadow. In the walls that keep up Ah, this bad mood, developers. Who are you in the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it. Those who cast it aside with indifference. And those who can't recognize it. What? Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? Right, okay. There is a lot of light here. There is light. In death, I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. 
I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. Limbo. So. How are you, Nikki? How are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Okay. Figure out what Rachel is saying, Nikki. She's here. Murderer. What the fuck? Did I kill this bitch? What the hell? Claire. What the hell? Rachel Leonard. Checkmate. Rachel Leonard. Oh shit, they used to come up here and play. Inside Claire's car. Who the fuck is Claire? Who's Claire? Why does this say murderer? Did I do this? This is fucking trippy, dude. Who's Claire, though? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul. Better than anyone. What the fuck you were is going just on? a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Did you? Listen. I am sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal. Shame. Death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. You can't handle the truth! I everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. I didn't abandon nobody. Here in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too.
too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Holy shit. Fuck is this? What's in this blanket? Wash it. Okay. Wash the blanket. Sink. Why does it match her shirt? Oh, oh shit. God. How could I have forgotten? I I saw everything. I was there. What? All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. Okay. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? No. What was in her look? I don't understand. It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. Uh, so her mother a did disturbed, it. Disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! Oh, shit. We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers and So now you're calling her Claire cheering. instead of mom. Jesus Christ, this shit's confusing, man. Sight of her. So Claire's the mom. For two whole periods, I think. And later when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I I don't Oh shit. <laughs> the truth. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her. Holy in the trunk, shit. Rolled in the blanket. Holy god. shit! Oh my god. What? She killed what? Rachel. Oh no! Thank you, Nikki. I did not see that coming. 
<laughs> That's so easy to figure out, though. The mom. Ah. Oh. I didn't even think of it. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you Damn. the things you were looking for. I fucking knew it, man. I was trying to figure it out. Uncover the truth. I just did. And now saying, give me what I want, man. Let me you go didn't home. Know that Claire. I was only a kid. Wow. So her mom did it. Oh. She so the dad fucks a 16 year old, falls in love with the 16 year old, makes a baby with the 16 year old. The mom doesn't like it, drops off her kid at a hockey game, stays for two quarters, dips out, kills the kid, puts her in the car wrapped in a blanket and a retainer, drives her kid back to the hotel to live her life with her realizing she was in the trunk and then she blocked it out of her memory? Damn! Okay! Wait, okay! Okay. Listen. Impressive. Kind of a weird out. game, but very impressive. I like the way they wrote this shit. Terrible, very impressive. But all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. Impressive. I wonder we if this is the end of alive. it, man. We're alive. Me. You. We, we uh, didn't do anything. Damn. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. What were we supposed to do, man? Y'all were kids. It's beautiful here. Rachel oh, told no. me about it so much. Oh times, no. <laughs> I never thought. Oh no, babe so girl, this is crazy. This is crazy, babe girl. Where are you? What? Where are you at, dog? He at the cliff, dude. Where are He's you? gonna jump off. It's wide as far as the eye can He's gonna see. jump off, bro. Beyond the mountains. Oh no. You, you left the hotel? Oh no! What is he doing, Arvin? You'll die out there. Come back, Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. Oh shit! Treat me, and now I can finally rest. Oh no! I can and go back. He's Don't gonna go. jump. Don't, He's gonna Don't jump. Go. You, you can't. Oh! Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, What do you mean, your tough, pragmatic, nigga. stubborn nigga? Hey, it's yours, bitch. We'll meet again. And oh, time. no, dude. Beyond this horizon of events, everything is... Somebody not pop out of me right now, bro. Moving. Damn, it's like that? Homie just gonna leave me? Oh shit! I, I don't want to stay alone here. I. Oh no! I, everything seems to be becoming dark. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, you should be, bitch. I'm... Oh hell no! What am I supposed to do now? Oh hell no! Uh uh, something about to happen, bro. Rachel. What you calling out for? Is you? What is wrong with you? Oh fuck no! She's gonna kill herself, bro. Oh, damn. Oh! I'm good. Oh, no! I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. Yo, this. Hey, what up, dude? This is fucked up. Oh, shit. I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. What are you? Oh, oh well. I see. Jake is bad. You gotta drive there, bro. She needs your help. She just holding the retainer in her head, dude. Oh, this is tragic. Oh. I'm back home. Oh, this is tragic. Forever. 
Oh no, don't start the car. Don't start the car. Please don't start the car. Come on, Nicole. Nikki! What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Get you know, Mom, oh, I was no. thinking about going to the lake. Oh shit. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. Favorite streamer's about to play this game? Who's that? You feel like it? I would so like it. Let him know this game is and fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. On the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? What? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom? Dad? Oh, for sure. Be so nice. well, let him know this game is fucking psycho. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, no! Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Okay, I'm gonna give you all... Alright, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Dashboard. Use. Oh shit. Anger shouldn't rule our life. Oh shit. You said that. I'm about to witness a suicide happen right now. Oh no! This is this is twisted! This is twisted! Oh shit! You I Oh no! <laughs> oh shit. I can't see the light. Oh! <laughs> Turn off! Turn off! Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> Woo! That was close, girl. We almost just died. I'll stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. What the we fuck is going on? Again, all what happened if I didn't turn it off? Damn, I should have left it off. Damn, I should have left it on. Anger. Just love. What the fuck? What the fuck? What happens if I leave it on? No, I stopped the beginning. That's the end. What the fuck? What happens if I leave it on? This was a hell of a game, dude. This game was a trip. This game was a trip. Wow. So her dad fell in love with a kid. Fucked the kid. Had a kid. Almost. She was pregnant. Mom kills her. Damn, man. That's a hell of a game. That was a hell of a game. Wow! Okay. Like, that was a very short game. But that was a hell of a game. That was very well made. So, if I don't save her, she just dies? Damn, I should've just let it go. I should've just let it roll, see what happened. Like... I'm happy I saved her life, though. She didn't die, which is good. She was a good character. She didn't need to die. It wasn't her fault. She was a kid. She didn't know what happened. But that was a twisted fucking game, man. Very twisted game. Very well-made game. Fun game. If you have the time, play this game. This is a very fun game. Wow. Wow, that was a very interesting, interesting game. Hold on, man. I want to... Hold on, I want to see if they actually like. Hold on. I want to see both endings. Um. Ending. I'm just curious, cause like it's all endings. Oh, how many endings are there? All endings, good and bad. Okay, yeah, so she just... Okay, so they just... Yeah, she just dies. That's... Okay. 
good and bad. So I did the good ending. That's not bad. That's I'm okay with that. I think that's pretty, you know, satisfactory. Um, but damn, that was a good game. Um, that's it for me, though. Uh, I went a little over time, but uh, that was a very fun game. I I enjoyed that shit. That was really cool. Um, thank you, Fat Bob X, for the uh, for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, that stream you were talking about. Let them know that this game is really fun. This is a hell of a game. Um, hell of a game. Hope they enjoy it. Uh, maybe I'll tune in, watch them, check them out, see if, see how they're enjoying the game. Very, very fun game. I, I enjoyed it a lot. But um, thank you, everybody, that tuned in. Um, if you haven't followed the channel, just hit me with a follow. I appreciate it. Um, I'll be back on Friday. I'm off the next two days. Got some shit going on. But I will be back on Friday, streaming multiple days after that. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody that tuned in. Appreciate y'all. Hit me with a follow. Let me know. But damn, that was a hell of a game. That shit got my blood fucking flowing, man. I feel like I gotta do like, run down the street or something, man. Damn. But uh, yeah, that was fun. Thank you everybody. Appreciate you guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Happy gaming. Deuces. Dynamic out, baby. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Uh, damn. Hell of a game.